For this super cool Christmas project, we're going to start with a concrete form tube. 12 inches will be just perfect for this. You can pick this up at any hardware store. First thing we got to do is make a base. This is 18 inches by 18 inches. We're going to find the middle at 9 inches and mark an X. We're going to use this starting point to go 1 inch on one side and 1 inch on the other. That's how we're going to measure for the legs of the nutcracker that we're going to put together. Now, this is the hard part. We've got to drill through the base, two screws for each leg, in order to hold it together. Once you do this, we got to put it upside down on top of the legs. That way we can screw through the bottom and into the legs. This will make it nice and sturdy. Once we got it secure, go ahead and turn it back over and you can see it's super strong. Next, we got to take the form tube that we have and cut out a piece of wood that'll fit on the inside. Once you mark it, cut just on the inside of the line and that way it will form right over the tube. Once you got the cutout done, go ahead and drill two holes, one for each leg. Once you get these pilot holes drilled, you can go ahead and put the two and a half inch screws in. This will make it super strong and it holds it. Next thing we gotta do is put the tube on top of the wood. We're gonna slide it right into place and drill some pilot holes that are gonna go through the tube and into the side of the wood. Put some screws in that'll hold it in place. That'll again strengthen this right up and keep it where we need it. Next, let's go down on our 33 inch tube down 11 inches. That's where we're gonna put one of the arms. Our arms are made out of three and a half inch PVC pipe. I picked up this foam piece from the Dollar Tree. Go ahead and slide it back and forth and you're gonna run some glue around it and that's gonna hold it in place. On top of the pipe, we're gonna put a cap. This is gonna be like the shoulder blade, part of the uniform. Put it right at that 11 inch mark, take some screws and drill it through and it'll hold it in place. Once we got the arms on, it's time to prime it. Primer is so important on a project like this. You want the paint to stick and look good when it goes on. Primer is the way to do it. We're gonna go through and prime everything on this project. It'll cover up the lettering, and we're also gonna do the same for the wood, legs, and the base. Make sure you get it nice and even on there. While we're waiting for the primer to dry, I went ahead and grabbed a five gallon bucket that I painted black, and I started putting some gold bands around it. This is the top of the helmet. This one's gonna get a shorter, skinnier band. I use some hot glue and put it right around the edge and go all the way around putting the band in place. We can do this all the way around. Be careful not to burn yourself. Just put it as you go. On the bottom, I'm gonna use a little bit of a thicker band. I want it to stand out a little bit. We're gonna do it just like we did with the top. Put a little bit of hot glue and just work your way around. Make it nice and even, put it on. Once you get it all put on and ready to go, it's time to bring the project back in and look at that nice white primer on it. Gives you a blank canvas to start. Again, we're gonna go down 11 inches. Mark it around because that's gonna be where our head goes. The rest of it, which is 22 inches, will be our body. And this is where it gets exciting. We're gonna start painting. Again, this is the head, so we're gonna paint all the way around using our paint color choice. I use a foam brush. I get it to where it comes on and goes on nice and even. You're going to need multiple coats. So go ahead and just put it on kind of nice and light. Make it look good. Next we got to do is we got to work on his boots. We need to make sure the line is straight across. So I use a square to make a line crossed. Make sure they're both even. Once I do that, it's time to paint his jeans. And those are going to be blue. I went with a kind of a darker blue and put it on as you can see, the first coat is not the best, but we're going to use multiple coats. Two should do it. If you want to go with three, go for it. Once we get this all on right where the boots are, it's time to put his laces on. We don't want them boots falling off. Again, use the same lace that he used for the top of the helmet, which is the bucket, and put some X's down there. We want to use some hot glue to put those on. Remember, go easy. We don't want to burn ourselves on that hot glue. Just make an X. Don't worry about the ends. I went ahead and painted some gold colored wood pieces that I got from the hobby store. Put those on and we're gonna go up and down the boot with it and give it just some nice design. Next, whenever paint joins another color, we wanna put a ribbon around it. 
just makes it look good and makes his uniform look spectacular. We're going to do this around his neck and then around his shoulder pads. We're going to go ahead and put some garland on. We got this from the Dollar Tree. Nice and inexpensive. Next, it's time to put that hair on that goes right over his ears. This one is from the Dollar Tree and it's actually a dust mop. So I trimmed it to fit, put some hot glue on it, worked my way up and glued it as I went up. And I can't believe how spectacular it turned out. Looks so good. Just goes right on there and sticks perfectly. Now it's time for the nose. Little piece of cut wood, hot glued on with a triangle look. And there it is, looks great. Next, I outlined his whiskers. That's gonna go on there for his mustache. And then we're gonna use some black paint to paint it in. Go nice and slow on this. We wanna make it look good. This is what's gonna grab everybody's attention. Now that cut piece of dust mop that I used on the side of the head, I had a little bit left over. I'm gonna use it for his goatee on the bottom. Now it's time to put him in place, give him his helmet, and look at that. This is our nutcracker. I think I'm gonna call him Blue Eyes because of the spectacular way we got his eyes to look. He just looks amazing standing there. And guess what? He turned out to be six foot tall. He stands guard over the Christmas tree and all the presents that'll come. I hope this inspired you to build your own life-size Nutcracker doll. Thanks for watching Home Talk, and we'll see you next time. I saw these little mini terracotta pots on Amazon and thought they would make the cutest little holiday decor. I'm going to use five of the mini pots for this project, as well as some red, black, and blue paint. I wanted to paint the pots before putting them together, so I'm starting with the black. The first pot is only going to have black paint on the rim of the pot. The next little pot is going to be painted entirely black. It's time for the red paint now. One pot is going to be entirely red and then the last one is going to be red around the rim. These little pots are cute and the paint dries really fast. So I can go back to the first pots as soon as I'm finished up with the last one. So one of the pots with the black rim I'm going to finish off with blue. I'm also going to finish off the one with the red rim with blue as well. Now that the paint is all dry, it's time to add a few little embellishments. This is where that gold metallic paint is gonna be perfect. I'm gonna start with the pot I painted entirely red and add six little gold buttons and then connect them like little chains. I also wanna add some little buttons and chains to the pot painted all black. The final thing I need to paint before putting my cute little pots together is a face. I find it easiest to draw a little face with a pencil and then fill it in with paint. That way you can make any changes you need before you've put the paint on the pot. I've already gone ahead and drawn a little face on another pot here. I just need to fill this one in now. The face doesn't need to be complicated at all. Just add some eyes, eyebrows, a little nose, and a mustache. The last thing I need to do is attach all of the little mini pots together. I used contact cement to glue them together. I'm starting with the um, black rimmed pot facing down with the blue facing up. Next, I'm gonna add the red, the solid red pot on top. Then I'm gonna add the other two pots together, the little face with the hat, and then I'll stick those on to the top of the rest at the end. I hope this has inspired you to go grab some mini terracotta pots and use them in your holiday decor this season. They are so cute, you won't be disappointed. Thank you so much for watching Home Talk. I'll see you next time.